Hey guys, Dave here with Funky Food with Dave, Paula. Hey Dave. I was going to say, what did you just say? I said, hey Dave. Hey Paula. <laughs> I was going to say Jake, but he just decided to walk outside onto the deck. Um, another gorgeous day today. Actually, really gorgeous. Nice little breeze. A little brisk today. The breeze Not like cool. it was. Problem is, um, is, the pollen is ridiculous. Our truck has a it's nice dark it's blue, disgusting. but it looks like it's a shade of green because the blue and yellow make a nice cute color shade of green. <laughs> I'm so bummed too because I just went and yeah. washed it uh, it's not bad. Thursday. Yeah. And it's it's yeah. gross. My sinuses are out of control. Paula's got an earache from it and sinuses and everything. Um, so today being Monday, today is our taste test Monday. I was just gonna say the date, but I I don't know. Yes. 15th, right? 15th, yeah. Today's May 15th. So, today we are going to do a hot sauce review. And this hot sauce was sent to us by Debbie Bertram, our friend over in across the pond over in England. And this is Pembrokeshire Chili Farm presents Ghost Tears, a ghoulishly hot sauce. We're grown, not flown. Uh, let's see. The sweetest fruity heat with a spicy clout. Wallop a dollop on chicken, pork, or that Friday night pot. A great table sauce for the adventuresome flavor seeker. Based in the heart of the Pembrokeshire countryside, Ward Warding Pembrokeshire Chili Farm has built an enviable reputation for producing a range of superb gourmet chili sauces, jams, and spices. Shake well before use. And let's get to the ingredients. The ingredients are orange peppers, organic cider vinegar, mango pulp, sugar, citric acid, white sugar, apple, ghost chili, maize, which is corn, right? And then starch. Um, that actually sounds pretty good. I'm not going to get into the allergen information and stuff like that. But well, must be that's something they got to put over there because I noticed that on another sauce that she sent us that the allergen information. So, shake, shake, shake your booty. See that over here? Shake your booty. Do what? People see that over here, they want us to be putting it, all that on there. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. I mean, I my sniffers are off today because uh, allergies. <laughs> That smells good. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this sauce. Oh, ghost tears. Yeah. But it's only three percent, I think. This yeah, but three percent could be oh, like let me read that again. honking for me. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Remember, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're at 378 subscribers. A little bit at a time. All right, so ghost chili, three percent. So, and that's the third to last ingredient in the uh, uh, ingredient list. So, it shouldn't be, but who knows? I mean, ghost pepper, it can not have a lot in there. It still have quite a little zing to it. I noticed the sauce that I made yesterday because I made that batch of Java Cherry Crush. And this batch is a little hotter than last batch, even though it's the same amount of stuff. I think the ghost peppers were just a little more um, zippy. I never even tried it. Than the last one. So we gotta, I'm going to save a bottle out anyways. As Steve says, show the label. <laughs> Steve's, uh, Steve Gillespie Steve from uh, Heat My Shorts, his mom made him a bottle of uh, curry sauce. And I love curry. And I'm like, Dave, we need to get that because <laughs> I will put curry on everything. Asked his mom because uh, she responded on to Steve's thing. I said, Does she deliver? <laughs> <laughs> well, that smells good. That smells really good. Want a little bit? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You're looking at me like so. The flavor is 
fantastic. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit. It does have a ghost pepper burn. He gave me, watch. This is what you give Paula. Well, it's called the. It's ghost pepper. The flavor is awesome. But it has a little bit of a bite to it. Oh my god, that's good. Isn't it? Very warm. And that's why I gave you a little bit. Wow, that's good. Yes, I get it. But really, it. really warm. I mean, it's ghost pepper. I mean, I don't think it's extreme heat by any means. The orange peppers, the mango, that's what I'm getting right off is the Boy, mango. Boy, is that yummy. First thing I got was the mango. Then I'm getting, I think when they're saying orange pepper, it's probably the bell pepper, which I'm getting. Um, I do get the the uh, white uh, the sugar. I do get the apple a little bit. Did you get the apple? I got a lot of fruit going on. I got the apple. I don't know about the corn flavor, but you definitely... I got the mango and then the bell pepper and the sugar and then pop you got hit I got hit by that ghost yeah pepper. I definitely got hit but I mean the flavor oh, mm. this is this is this is fantastic sauce this is gonna be a high score holy smokes that's a lot sugar ghost pepper ghost pepper is right on the roof of my mouth coming down the back this is a great sauce this is a very very good sauce thank you Debbie this is yeah can I have just a little bit more that is... it's really tasty Ooh, sorry do you want all that yep I'm going to do it. That. I think it'll be good for my sinuses. <laughs> or your stomach, you're going to be on fire. Paula's going to do that. Ready? That's a lot of sauce, babe. It's a lot of sauce, babe. If you guys can see your face. <laughs> so, on the flavor scale for me, Actually, I'll do the heat scale first. Okay. Heat scale for me, I'm going to give it, that's a two. That's a, for me, it's a two on the wuss side. For me, I'm, I'm definitely a six. So, Paula say it's a firecracker at mm -hmm. six. I'm not going to break into the averages because that, because that doesn't really mean anything for the heat. I'm a two, Paula's a six. That's a really good sauce. Now, flavor scale? Yeah. I know where I'm at already. Yeah. Three, Eight. two, oh, one, sorry. nine. Oh, sorry. Eight. Eight. Three, two, one, nine. Yeah. You're at an eight, I'm mm -hmm. at nine. That, I love that sauce. It's really yummy. I absolutely I, it, And I'm sitting here going... I know what I'm making tomorrow. I'm like, would I want to dip that or toss in it? It's really warm. This is, it's, it's got a bite. But it's, the flavor is excellent. Uh huh. Excellent sauce. So I'm going to have to go online and look these guys up, see what else they have for sauce. My lips are on fire still. See, mine's the roof of the mouth. Right my lips, mouth. my roof, my throat. <laughs> my, yeah, my whole business is going on. I'm really on fire. So, guys. If you can get this, oh, I got to find out where their website is. I didn't see it anywhere, though. Oh, yep. So you can look them up at www.pembrokeshirechilifarm.com. So pembrokeshirechilifarm.com. Nice. Do it. Here, can I see the bottle? Yep. The sauce is excellent. Outstanding sauce. One of my favorites of the year so far. Easily one of my favorites. We're years. grown, not flown. I like that. No, that was really good. Um, you got anything to say, babe? My mouth is on fire still. <laughs> um, um, my allergies are kicking my fanny. Yeah. But other than that, I'm good. Hope everybody had a lovely, lovely day yesterday. I sure did. Thank you, David Edwin, for making my day lovely. 
um, it was actually a fun day, fun weekend. So, alrighty. So with that being said, oh my God, my lips are on this fire. Video. Paula is suffering over there a little. Um, guys, take care of yourselves. Remember, hot sauce never goes out of style, guys. And it really burns your mouth off. Mm. <laughs> Good night. Bye.